is your feel-good breakfast show and we are back with social media star Thea Boyce and other known as Thea Beastie. Now she's a popular YouTuber, eSports caster, a Twitch streamer who has released her first book called The Marked Children and it is available online. You can get it from takealot.com. But it's great to have you here. And I mean, you mentioned you studied at Stellenbosch. You yes. did two degrees there. Yes. How did a girl from Stelly's meet the YouTuber, <laughs> Mr. Beast? How did that unfold? Uh, I've told this story so many times. It's sort of like a movie because I'm not the type of person to go out clubbing. I'm always in my room working. And Jimmy, Clearly. yeah, Clearly. <laughs> we're trying to work on yeah. it. Jimmy or the Mr. Beast, as they know him, he is working as well. He doesn't go out clubbing. So how did people like us meet? He was going to film in Antarctica and do one of his biggest videos yet. And the only way to access Antarctica is through Chile or Cape Town. Uh -huh. So he flew down to Cape Town, and everybody got COVID in Antarctica, and he was stuck here, and the video was cancelled. Oh. So he was feeling down. He decided to go out to Cape Town, go to a club, and that's where he met my sister. And I got a call on WhatsApp, and it's Mr. Beast on the phone, and she's trying to play wingman, and mm. she's telling him, yeah. What's your sister's name, first of all? Louisa. Louisa, Louisa you're a Boyson. legend. Yeah. You're a legend, she's girl. She's the best. And uh, yeah, she, she basically got us to meet in person, and we immediately hit it off. We had so much in common. And he, he visited me like two more times in South Africa, and then I went back to him, uh, to America, basically. I mean, you guys, I know he was obviously very much ahead of the curve, um, and I yes. think he's, he's led the charge, which is, is amazing. It's this crazy world, though, because as much as you want to just be personal, have your own little bubble, be romantic, be in that space, mm. you kind of have to share what's going on, a version of that with the world. Is that something you guys are conscious of? Because yes. it, it is your professional space. Of course. Yeah, we're very conscious about it because it's, it's a difficult thing, really. Um, like, we're trying not to go about it too publicly. Yeah. Because it's, uh, when your whole world is out in public, it's really special to have some things that are more For private. Sure. Yeah. And it takes all the pressure away as well. We understand completely. Yes. Completely. And but uh, it's nice. It, there's, something to, there's something to keeping it private, because it's just then the two of you. It's yours, yeah. Exactly. Let's talk about you becoming an e-caster. Like, how, that is so incredible. Is that something you ever envisioned for yourself? No, never. Uh, initially, I was just a big gamer. I was playing games all the time. And then university happened, and suddenly you don't have time for games anymore. Yeah. I felt so guilty, but I really wanted to play games. So I thought, how can I do this productively? Professionally, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I heard about the streaming platform called Twitch, where you can live stream games and talk to an audience while you do it. So I thought, two birds with one stone, I'm socializing, and I'm playing games. <laughs> You're plugging into some big money in that space. When I look at how, for instance, how psychologists, sports psychologists are being used with the top gamers now to elevate them, mm. the rest of the sporting world is looking to gaming now as this next iteration. Yes. The money involved is undeniable. Yes. So as a broadcaster in this space, it's opened up a whole different world. Mm. Are we going to lose you to an ESPN? How much <laughs> traction has this side of your life gained now that it's a reality? And you're pretty much... Mm. You, you've plugged into the global network now. Well, what started off as a hobby basically became my full-time job, which means... Does it pay the most out of everything? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, yes. basically what I wanted to know. It's yeah. incredible. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can, I can play the game, and it would be a competitive card game for people who don't know. It's like basically playing chess or uh, with cards. Like magic or vibe, yeah. Yes, and uh, essentially what they want is somebody who knows what they're doing and can speak to the camera which is what Twitch taught me to do. So I just played the games, and l they came to me and asked if I could um, basically start casting Gwent, the Witcher card game, which is in Poland. So I flew out there. They, f they paid for everything. They, yeah, they, they pay me to do that once every few months. But ironically, that's all you need to do to yeah. pay the bills. And it opened up all the doors in the world. So now I'm doing it for, I did Rocket League. I did a bit of other games as well. I, and it's so fun. It's just so fun. It's so incredible. That's brilliant. I, I'm 
I'm dying to know what you studied at Stellenbosch. Do you feel like <laughs> you're using that now in a way? Is, it, is there some connection? Because yeah. I can picture a lot of families being like, okay, you need to go to university, and then the kid goes to university, but then ends up in a field that's completely left-wing or right-wing sure. or completely in a mm. different space. Absolutely. I would always tell kids to try and get their degree and do their hobbies in their free time and maybe build on it later. Like, uh, my degree in law was my first one, and that taught me how to speak up yeah. and be opinionated, but do it in a professional way. So yeah, yeah, psychology yeah. taught me more about people and how I can um, be more of a people person when interacting with them. And also when you're making content, it's all about people. Yeah. Like, oh, for sure. Yes, what grabs their attention, what's going to um, make for a good video. Um, yeah. It's an all authentic, circle. yeah. No, completely. Mm. I'm just trying yeah. to like do the maths in my head of how you've had the time to be able to do all of this. Uh, no, but I think you're a shining example of how you leverage the current situation. And as much as the world has changed, I think you guys, your little tribe, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. But thank you so much for being such a positive energy in this space, being so credible and professional. I think you are showing the market how to get it right, which is amazing, man. More Thanks power to you, girl. So much for having me. It's been really fun. Oh, and amazing. she wrote a book. She wrote a book. It is available online, so make sure you support Thea.